In mid-2013, jet fuel prices rose above expectations and reached $130 per barrel as developments raised concerns over supply disruptions. The skyrocketing fuel prices has continued to take a negative toll on the performance of airlines worldwide as their shares fell a further 6% in August 2013. For Australian aviation business, this could cause an underperforming market as statistics show that over 45 million Australians and New Zealanders took to the skies in 2007, almost double from that of 2003. A type of energy derived from renewable plant and animal materials that is easier to transport, deliver and burn cleanly is the answer to this problem. It is biofuel. Second generation biofuels are produced using the inedible part of plants such as straw, wood, plant waste. Unlike first generation biofuels, they do not compete with the use of raw materials as food. Pongamia pinnata can be used as an ingredient in the production of second generation biofuel for jet planes. Pongamia pinnata is a non food crop plant that can contribute significantly in solving the jet fuel problem. Gary Seaton, a shareholder of Bioenergy Plantation Australia, explains what Pongamia is all about. Pongamia is a legume tree, and a legume tree is a tree that fixes nitrogen in the, in the soil, and that's one of the reasons why we've, we've chosen this tree to be a feedstock for the biofuel industry because one of the inhibiting uh, factors with regard to the biofuel industry is there's not sufficient feedstocks in Australia that will support and underpin the industry. Pongamia pinata is native to Australia and also growing in Queensland. Professor Gresshoff from the University of Queensland explains about Pongamia existence in Australia. So we are growing right now a lot of plantations around southeast Queensland and central Queensland, for example close to Roma. So the implementation really means that we can harvest now Pongamia seeds and make Pongamia oil at, at, at an experimental level, not at a commercial level, not enough to fly an airplane. And so when you talk about current biofuel sources, many of them compete with the food supply or are limited to hundreds of millions of gallons. What we're talking about here is something that can have a much, much bigger impact. You could literally make billions of gallons if we can capture that at CO. Pongamia is a fast-growing tree and has many benefits that would not endanger the environment. This was a tree that had just so much potential. I call it the can-do tree. Uh, you only need to water it for the first few years because it's got this really deep tap root, so it'll eventually find its own source of water. Based on the ongoing research at the University of Queensland, the total investment needed in processing Pongamia raw material is $590 million per tonne, 20% more expensive than soybean. So at, at, at present we are looking uh, at a predicted price for Pongamia oil at around $400 to $600 a tonne, which is actually very, very competitive relative to crude oil. The discovery of biodiesel jet fuel has piqued the interest of numerous major airlines. Japan Airlines and Continental Airlines were two major airlines pioneering test flights with second generation biofuels. For Australia, Virgin is one. Virgin Atlantic um, uh, have come up with a fuel that, uh, that I think will be able to dramatically reduce its carbon, uh, carbon footprint. Um, this fuel will re re reduce the output of carbon by 50%. Test flights have thus far proved to be successful. Where the members of the association have gone out and proven that jets can actually fly absolutely with total safety on these new fuels. However, this great energy source alternative is still facing a big obstacle in their plantation space. Now, right now, uh, the, ma the major cost is actually the land and the planting of the tree, right? But the advantage of that is that you do this only once every 35 years, right? And the land, presumably, yeah, forever. Pongamia pinata can be a solution to the declining crude oil supplies. 
if we had proper commercial investment, get enough land, get enough planting, get small factories out, uh, there could be a functional Pongamia biofuel industry in five to six years. It is crucial that further investment of advanced technology and effective plantation of Pongamia trees are carried out to actualize this great invention. However, proper commercial investment and support from both the government and private sectors must come first. Biofuels for jet planes, it's biojetting. The future is here. Thank you for your attention. 